All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So, uh, new album comes out in a couple days. Why don't you uh, go ahead and give us an idea of what we can expect from the new album? Right, right. You know, so, so that's basically what the, the well, that is basically what, what the new album's like. Obviously, when people hear it, they make their own decisions. Right. And was that a conscious decision to go in that direction, or is that something that happened while you were in the studio? No, it was a conscious decision. We had like a year off. We had a year's break. For right, the, right. Because like, obviously, we've been together for so long. So we decided to take a bit of a break off and then go back into it again. And when that break happened, um, I was kind of. I didn't want to just produce yet another Cradle album. Right. You know what I mean? I wanted to do something a bit different. So I started doing a bit of like soul searching and then all of a sudden like the light bulb come up and go, I know exactly what to listen. And that was the whole attitude, the whole punk vibe to what we used to do right back from the first album. Right, right. And um, and, and Tim that was like, it was really easy to do as well because like me, me and the drummer, um, we used to do the, like wrote the whole thing. Um, so it was, it was quite easy to pull it all together. Um, so Martin did all the keys as well, as well as the drums. Oh, nice. Right, and it worked really, really well. Yeah, you did. Yeah, definitely sounds like uh, you guys were in the right direction. Um, we took a listen and uh, we were very, very impressed. Um, my favorite part was the fact that their songs were much more complex than they've been in the last couple albums. There's more substance to them, so... Yeah, it's, it's, yeah they are, they are. And also, what I really like about this album as well, the guitars are really up front. Yes. You know, and it's it was it was a conscious decision by myself and the producer to actually make ride specifically ride it like that. I mean, to be honest, the whole album was written um, with live in mind, not from like just putting the CD on. Each riff and everything was written just so we could play it live, and so it had like that whole live reaction, like that live feel to it. You know. Right. Right. Awesome. So once the album's out, and uh, so what are the tour plans? Um, we're touring, well, actually, um, so I live in the States, I fly home, or fly back, not home, so I live in now, <laughs> <laughs> um, I fly back, uh, when is it, the 1st of November, um, we, and then, because we're shooting another video for, for your vulgar Alright. and then we've got like an album launch party thing to go to, um, and then we start, re then we've got rehearsals on the 5th and 6th, and then on the 7th we've got our first show. So we did Europe from the 7th of November till the 19th of December. And then in the States, we're over here, I think it's the middle of February to the end of March. And then after April, we've got South America. And then after that, we've got summer festivals and whatever other stuff comes up with it. Right, right. Awesome. So some of our readers are really interested in the, the gear that is used both uh, in the studio and, and on stage. Um, what kind of gear do you use for your equipment? Um, I'm really, really simplistic. <laughs> <laughs> simplistic, too simplistic, really, sometimes. I, all I use in the, in the studio is my Black Star head and cab. And, like, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Some, we, we've got, like, there's this, this compression pedals and, like, and stuff like that to really, really crisp the guitar sound up, you know, just a bog standard compressor. Right, right. Um, and, it's, and then sometimes we might put the... the, the the head on the pain channel and use a lot of distortion pedal of some description. Oh, all right. You know, it, it, not one, not one pedal is actually like used all the time because we've got like swap around all the time from like different distortions and different compressors and etc. And EQs and all that stuff. Right. It's a bit hard to say we use exactly this one because we didn't use just one. You know. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, um, also, there's like reverbs and stuff and like for for um, like leads and like melody lines and stuff like that. 
but it's but but we don't use plugins. It's all like it's all like actual like hard units, you know. Right. Um, plugins are okay for demo and stuff, but when we're in the studio, we actually use, we get much better sound from actually using actual physical pedals. Right. Rack units. You know, which is which is way which is definitely the way better way to go. Sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, I leave I leave it live. I just take it straight into a black star and that's it. Nothing. Roll the gain off the light, literally just under halfway, and so you can hear like every note that I'm playing. Yep. And then other than that, that's it. Just wait in my head. And nice. Do any pedals, no nothing. Awesome. So, are there any plans to maybe do another Cradle movie? Um. Yeah. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. See what happens. You know. It'd be, it'd, uh, possibly. It, it could work. Um. The only reason why I hadn't at the moment because I've been too busy and and also it's just like I mean Crazy the Fear when it came out that wasn't actually our film right it was for Alex Shandon's film and he just used us as a vehicle to sell it right right but, but I mean possibly you know we might might do it um but just see what happens really we've not really I mean it'll be ideal it'll be fun to do it again yeah yeah I'd like to do one a bit more bigger budget than the last one because the last one was a little bit too cheesy for my liking yes yeah, the, yeah. It works, though. <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, the lower the lower budget was definitely uh, visible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Well, once back, I'll, I must admit, I must have cringed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that our... our yeah, it is, people, I mean, people's cast is a B-movie show. It's like, fine weather. Right, right. Maybe, maybe you can land up on the Elvira show or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. That'll be the sort of place. <laughs> right. So another thing our magazine focuses on is the hobbies and interests of our readers. Uh, we get into the comic books and video games and movies and things like that that we watch, as well as when we're listening to music. So what kind of stuff are you into? Um, what other stuff am I into? Yep. Um, yeah, I do a lot of artwork from time to time. I've kind of put it a bit on hold at the moment. I'm just concentrating on music at the moment. Um, I play, um, I'm definitely into Black Ops on the PS3. That's good fun. Um, especially with, like um, the Black Ops Zombies, that's great. Um, I usually do that. I play online a fair bit. Um, but there's um, what else do I do? I've, I've recently got into like, it's like I've recently got into scuba diving. Oh, all right. With, yeah, that's, that's, that's so much fun. It's ridiculous. That's my, that's my new fun pastime to do. <laughs> no, nice. All right. I mean, which which is really really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting hooked. I mean. Some people are in there. I mean, my, my other half she's into like snowboarding and stuff. And like, I'm not really very good on a snowboard, so I prefer the water. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Can't fall down and hurt yourself I there. Do that. Um, I'm still doing like, I'm a train for a while, but I'm getting back, in, just started getting back into martial arts again. All right. Nice. Um, which I've been doing for years and years and years. Um, which is good fun. Uh, yeah, not so much really. To, to, to be honest, music. I, it, even even that's my job. It's my it's my hobby as well. Sure. You know, so I do it all the time. You know, I've got like stuff coming out, coming out in the friggin' ears all the time. I've got like two other bands on the go as well. Right, right. Just 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 for shits and giggles, you know. Right, exactly. Just 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 without the the pressure of like deadlines from record labels and stuff. So the stuff I'm doing on my own is just like it, it will get finished when it gets finished. Exactly. Right. Right. So are you ever going to release that kind of stuff or? Uh, yeah, possibly. I'm hoping one of them's going to be released sort of like towards the end of March next year. Okay. We'll see. I mean, to be honest, what I'm planning on doing, I'm not even going to take it to labels, I'm going to do it all myself. Nice. So, you know, there's so many avenues with like, you've got like iTunes, you've got Amazon Music, you've got CD Baby, you can release all that stuff yourself. I mean, there's, you can print up, there's companies that print, print CDs up, you can get like a hundred or a thousand or whatever. For, yeah, yeah. Peanuts. Right. It's absolute peanuts, on, and it looks absolutely fine. Yep. You know, and all you got to do is just sell it over your website. Exactly. I've really had a, I've really been approached by um, Bobby Z, the, the the guy who used to play drums for Prince. Yep. He 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 uh, come up to me and asked if cause he's got his own distribution company. He, he asked if he could distribute for me as well. Oh, nice. That's brilliant. There you go. Yeah. You know, so yeah, so I'm ten, so I'm torn with the idea of actually doing everything myself and cutting the labels out completely. That would be awesome. Yeah. No, just keep it, keep it like, keep like the CDs like, like a lot cheaper than in stores and all this stuff, you know. It's just like, it's the labels, like nowadays, I feel they're just kind of got completely spoiled out of control. 
because of when the internet's come in and kind of taken everything from a label. Right. They're like, they want not so much with Cradle, but any newer stuff, they want hands in and absolutely everything. Right. You know? And so, so, at the end of the day, you might as well like do it yourself. It's still be a little bit more hard work, but, it's like, but if you do get it to a certain size, satisfaction's going to be there that you haven't got to pay record labels. Right, exactly. That sounds interesting. You know, so I'd rather, keep, I'd rather keep it all underground and stuff as well, you know? Oh, for sure, yeah. A little more street cred. Yeah, exactly, totally. <laughs> You know, it's like, like releasing sort of underground stuff would be so much fun. Yeah, right, right. That sounds awesome. Looking forward to that. Are uh, you going to record yeah. anything from the tour for a live DVD, maybe? Say again? We're going to record anything off the tour for a live DVD? Um, possibly. Possibly. That's not been thought about, but I, I reckon we might do. All um, right. Whether it's, whether it's going to be set up properly or what we might do. I mean, I'm, what I might do, what I did to uh, promise a fever video, I might just get a video camera, just shoot different angles throughout the whole tour. Right. Um, just on like a HD camera and just edit it together myself. Sure, yeah. Because like, most of the stuff actually, because most of the stuff we do live is all played to a picture track anyhow. So all you've got to do is just like put it in and just sync it up to the music and it'll be the same. Right, exactly. No, right, that sounds good. Yeah, so I might do. I mean, yeah, I might do that. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be quite fun as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe we can do like a, a little contest and have a, a fan uh, contribute some some footage as well or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just yeah, exactly. Send your crowd shots in now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. All right. Well, that was pretty much what we had. Is there anything that uh, you wanted to share with the readers that we haven't covered, or any se- any, any plans you might want to reveal? Or? Yeah, let's think. Oh, well, we're going to, like I said, we're shooting a new video on uh, the 3rd, 3rd of November. Okay. Uh, for your bulk delectation. We've got that out. A uh, Frost and the Pillow video out now. Right. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've just got, like, as I say, we're hitting the road. We're hitting the road hard. You know, so all I can say is just, like, come and see us and, you know, we'll have fun and we'll sign stuff when we can, you know, and yeah, just, just come along. It's, it's, it's going to be great. I hope you like the new album and. Thanks for the support and everything, you know? Right, right. Awesome. All right, well, thank you for your time. Thanks, man. Take care. All right, you too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.